which of the three glows look the best. The devil is in the details and I'm not really objective, but I believe the bottom one is the best looking. In today's video, we'll dive in the world of glows. A glow is nothing more than a soft blur applied in screen blend mode. Affinity has a quick effect for an outer glow, which allows us to add a glow to any layer very easily. Let's add a text in black to our canvas and then use the quick effects to create an outer glow. From the quick effects panel, we can enable the outer glow for the text layer. To get a nice glow, I'll increase the radius and then lower the opacity until we get a smooth white glow behind the text. It looks pretty good. Now let's recreate the same effect manually. I'll duplicate the text, disable the quick outer glow effect and change the text color to white. This will be the base for the glow. For the actual text on top, I need another copy, so I'll duplicate this white text. We can now add a live Gaussian blur effect to the bottom white text from the layers panel. I think a blur radius around 30 will be sufficient to get a similar glow as the text above. Now let's change the top text color to black and we get a very similar effect with the text above. Let's take this a step further to get a better glow effect. I'm going to duplicate the top two layers and position them to the bottom of the canvas. To improve the glow, I'm going to add a live diffuse filter to the blurred text layer. Before we increase the diffuse intensity, let's make sure it's below the Gaussian blur filter, which we can do by dragging the Gaussian blur on the icon of the text layer. This will make sure that the blur effect will be applied after the diffuse filter. We can now increase the intensity of the diffuse filter to around 6 to 7 percent. This just gives that extra smoothness to the glow. Optionally, we can decrease the Gaussian blur radius. If we go back to the diffuse effect and increase the intensity even further, we get a very nice smooth glow effect. Let's set it to 22. To get a really cool glow, we can duplicate this blurred layer and adjust the blur and the diffuse effect. If we set the diffuse to 3% and the blur to 12 pixels, we get a very nice result. We can adjust the diffuse and the Gaussian blur on the layer below if needed to get a smoother effect. Pretty awesome! For real cool glow effects, it's always a good idea to combine multiple levels of glow on top of each other. I can add some extra effects on the top black text like an inner glow to create a soft transition and a small outer glow effect to bring everything together. If you're seriously interested in glow effects, check out my other videos. Links are in the description. By the way, because I have a black background, there was no need to change the blend mode of the blurred text to screen. But usually you should set the blend mode of the blurred layers to screen. This way the glow will work with any background. Hope you like this technique and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave and until the next video.